Sports Matrix M Track Recovery Operation. It's Tuesday, the 10th of November 2015. We had a call last night from a customer who had one of his compressors stolen. Uh, trouble was, he didn't know which one of the six compressors he's got it was, so we had to put all six compressors into alarm overnight so that we could give him positions this morning. He's checked those positions out this morning and he's uh, confident which unit he believes is stolen now. And we're showing a search site of Dagenham, Essex. So we're just traveling M25, we're coming up towards the Dartford crossing. Okay, so we're just approaching Dagenham uh, exit on the A13, so we're pulling off here. We've got the radio equipment turned on. We need to sweep around this location, try and pick up a radio signal. Looks like we've got something coming through now. Okay, there's quite a strong signal from this location here. Our current situation is I've pulled over in a side street. I've had to call the Metropolitan Police for some assistance because it's signals emanating from behind one of these houses. I've just got to sit and wait now for the police to turn up and then we can go in and search the back of these residents' properties. Here's the police turning up now. So you can see the uh, one of the generators. Right, so I've come in to, with the police. We've gone in the back garden now and we can see there's four compressors here. Our one is actually at the back there with that serial number on it. Um, we know it's ours because obviously the signal's coming out of there, but more importantly, the customer's welded um, an identification number on here, COMP0003, compressor three. So that's our one. And that's the one with our Automatrix M track inside that's located all of these today. So this looks like a good result. Maybe these aren't stolen, but chances are they are. We'll have to just check. They're quarters. They're about three grand each. What is that? Is that for pulling cable through? Yeah, it's for rod and rope. Yeah. Obviously, got the kit that you want to use. That's in the back of the van. That's what. Well, that's just bags of cement on the back of the van. What kind of cement? Uh, Yellow bags. Yeah, concrete. We had a ton of cement stolen from the same job as that compressor. Yellow bags, plastic bags. The trouble is, how do you identify that? That's the difficulty. This is the thing. Our difficulty is going to be identifying, and that's going to be where we're going to have a real problem. Everything we can identify, I'm quite happy to recover, but if we can't, the trouble is, a lot of the etched on things are going to be yeah, because individual to the companies, aren't they? Yes, and if, unless there's a company name on them. Yeah. Well, that gap hire is actually a Romford number, so we can ring them. Yeah. Ring them. And... First generator going out. The two generators. And this, gener um, this generator is going to be taken out as well. Cutters, hammers, traffic cables, cable pullers, buckets, scooter, tyres, welder, cable detection systems. More buckets, more cutters, water pump. This has uh, been reported stolen and it's going to be collected by GAP. Right, we're on our way back from this recovery operation at Dagenham. We've recovered our compressor with the tracker in, no problem at all. That's all been successfully recovered. We got a little bit more than we bargained for because the particular customer, he had another compressor that was stolen last year that was at the same location uh, so he's going to be getting that back as well which is great and there was a real Aladdin's cave of all sorts of power tools whackers breakers um, on the same premises so we've less, left the Metropolitan Police to um, basically go through that all that equipment and then make an arrest on site uh, later on this afternoon the customer's happy, we're happy, and another good recovery from Automatrix M-Track.